Good evening, everybody. God bless you in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. I don't even want to get into names, you guys, but um, I was watching a little bit of a video. And I'm always telling you guys, man, it's about scriptures, man. It's about the Word of God. It's not about um, what I'm saying and... Yeah, I, I've shared my dreams of the things that I see coming. Um, I've shared where I've been shown the timing when people will be taken from here. I've been shown that. And it's going to happen during civil unrest. Okay, when I say civil unrest, it's going to be very difficult times for the police here. That's when you're going to know that we're in that time. And it's going to be before martial law takes effect. The Lord showed me that doesn't tell me the day or hour. And these things could happen. They could start happening at any time. That's where we're at. But I started, I heard about somebody that was setting some dates, coming out with dates. Scripture, man, it says clearly not to go there. Jesus clearly said it, that no man, not the angels, not the son, but only the father knows that. And, and I know what I was shown gave me the what to look for, the season. When I say season, I mean the things that are going to be happening. That's when I know to be looking for it. Okay, but uh, you guys, when people are sitting there telling you setting dates to be ready for such and such date, they think it's going to happen then. Um, or when they say, you know, they're seeing pet goat two come to prophecy. You know, you guys, we have, we have holy apostles that was chosen by Christ, okay, predestined by God to be and do what they did. And they were given holy spirit inspired words to write the word of God. And you got people, um, acknowledging uh, pet goats, pet goat videos and stuff like that, talking about them coming to pass. They're acknowledging stuff like that. I could show you in the Word of God things that are happening and coming to pass. And people are flocking to these people with these kind of messages. only thing I could say about this, you guys, is a lot of these people are going to be in a lot of trouble. Because they weren't following the word of God, nor were they believing, but they, but they were listening to this other stuff. And to me, you guys, it's all nonsense. These are nonsense. When you're following people that are uh, acknowledging pet goat too, saying that's coming to pass, you guys, the Holy Bible, the word of God was, you know, it was in inspired by the Holy Spirit through holy apostles. And I listened to about as much of it as I could stand. And I wasn't hearing anything acknowledging the word of God, but other uh, things, other people. And uh, just ab absolutely what it's not supposed to be doing. You know, you guys, we are to be um, like following Christ, him, and acknowledging God in all our ways. And that was not acknowledging God. That was acknowledging man. I mean, I, I know what I heard. And like I said, I was a little surprised. I don't watch too many of these people anymore at all because um, they're, they're way off course, way out. And a lot of these people flocking to him. Um, you guys, let me put it this way. Scripture clearly says, many were called, but few were chosen. Few. And I could see where these people are flocking to these people. And they're doing exactly what the Word of God says uh, not to do. And they're doing it. And this is where people are flocking to it. And Scripture also says, people having itchy ears, this is what they're going to do. And uh, this is going to be their judgment that will come upon them. And uh, 
they're not going to be ready. A lot of these people, I believe they're going to be banging on the door. And it's going to be just. It'll be justified because of what I've seen, what they're doing, and who they're following, and what they're believing, you know, over the word of God. Okay? God doesn't change, okay? Acts chapter 3, verse 21. Whom heaven must receive until the period of restoration of all things about which God spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets from ancient times. Yeah, you guys, we can read scriptures and it tells us what's going on. Ephesians 3, 5, which in other generations was not made known to the sons of men, as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets in the Spirit. You guys... I want to remind you something, man. There's also people that have been doing uh, um, readings about people's futures. And they were hearing from spirits that got them into doing what they've been doing. Um, and today, they people flock to them as well. You know, and there's more of them like that. Forms of them. Just like them. If they're not... That's why it says test all spirits. If they're not leading you into the word of God and acknowledging God in all their ways, then I would stay far away from them. You know, I don't know any other way of saying it than, than that. I'd be staying far away from them. Ephesians 1.4 Just as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before him in love. Like I said, I don't hate any of these people. I just stay away from them. And they're not going to listen to you. They're, they're set in their ways and what they do. And they got tons of people, man, flocking to them. Tons. First Peter chapter 1, 15 and 16. But like the Holy One who called you, be holy yourselves as in all your behavior, because it is written, you shall be holy, for I am holy. And uh, there's 80-something uh, verses on this in the Word of God, the old and the new. And God doesn't change, okay? And it says, it clearly says that you should acknowledge God in all your ways. You know, when I heard Pet Goat 2 prophecy coming to pass and stuff like that you guys let me tell you something this has been predestined all this from the beginning world wars all these things have been set up from the beginning and you've got uh you know you got people that have been running this nation in these countries and people and they they staged everything and people are still following them today they're still following them you know, scripture warns you about that too, about being deceived in these last days. And you know what? This is what I see. I see a lot of people being deceived by it still today. First Peter, Second Timothy, chapter one, verse nine. Who has saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was granted us in Christ Jesus from all eternity. 1 Peter 2.9 But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a, holy peop a people for God's own possession, so that you may proclaim the excellence of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. You guys, I don't, I can't see anything that's more important than scripture. You know, staying in the word of God. You know, when you're going outside of the word of God, listening to people that are telling you, you know, they see uh, the pet goat too coming to pass. It's all happening just like pet goat too. And people are, following and flocking to that, 
you know they're going to answer for it. You know, and I'm not saying this out of hatred. I'm saying this out of warning. Okay? I'm saying it out of warning. <clears throat> you guys, remember we're being grafted in. Okay? There are some that were broke, cut off. The branches were cut off. Okay, and we're being grafted in. This is this is a blessing, you know, to be grafted in with the with the tree, with you know, to be grafted in. Jesus Christ is the vine, you know, of everything. And what should you be doing with this time? Who should you be acknowledging? You know? When I see, that's why I hardly watch anybody anymore. Because I'm telling you, there's few that are doing it, man. Very few. You know? And it just amazes me, you know, that so many are doing this now. And they're doing it, um, and they're getting lots and lots of uh, views, following, likes. People are acknowledging it, and they're going to answer for it to you. It said because they had itchy ears. They're not going to be, you know, I'm not saying that they're going to be damned. But I've told you there's a lot. I had a dream about pits everywhere. All kinds of pits. And when I say pits, I'm talking deceptions. People that are misguided. And they're on YouTube. They're in the churches. And I've seen these pits were full of a lot of people. And this is what's going to happen. You know? I don't think I'm going to be doing this much longer, but even me trying to warn people, telling people straight up, you know, acknowledge God in all your ways, not man. Don't put man, you know. I don't think I'm going to be doing this much longer. But you guys, I want to tell you something else. It said like the days of Noah were, okay? Very few escaped that. And I've seen where few escaped this. Okay, this is all nation, tongue, and kindred. It's not going to seem like as many as it, you know, you would think. But I could see where a lot of people and what they're doing and what they're listening to, who they're following. It's not going to look good for them, you know. I could, I could see it. It's just obvious to me, you know. And it's the Lord, it's the Holy Spirit that he put in me to see this. You know, I'm able to see these things, not by me, but by the spirit that abideth in me. God help these people, you know, and I've seen where people are going to be standing in line, you know, to get their heads cut off. And they were trembling, very, very afraid, you know. <laughs> you guys, I don't have a third of the uh, people on this channel. As they do, I could post a video and in 24 to 48 hours or even one week, only have 200 and something views. They'll have that in the first 20 minutes that their videos are posted. And they'll have a whole bunch of people uh, giving them thumbs up, liking what they're saying. And it's not e they're not even giving you what they might type in there and say, all who call on the name of the Lord will be saved, which is true. But if you're following down these rabbit holes, following these people, acknowledging them and all their nonsense, you know, listen, Satan, they got messages out there saying, yeah, this is what you got to do. You know, and if you do it, but are you doing it? That's the big question. Are you doing it? Are you following Christ? Or are you following where they're leading that's what a lot of people are doing, you guys. A lot of people are doing that right now. God help them. You know, that's about the best I could say is God help them. Okay? You guys, it's about being holy. God is holy. It's about trying to be following him, acknowledging him, his word. Not man's words. You know, don't. Don't go that route. You're going to be disappointed. 
It's like I don't follow the... There's a lot of people that are giving you the things that they use to deceive people thus far. I don't even go there watching that. You know? You know why we were deceived the first time? Because we weren't in the Word of God. That's why. You know why people are going to be deceived again this time? Because they're following people that are not in the Word of God. But they are telling you all who call on the name of Jesus will be saved. You know? But they're also having you watch things other than acknowledging God. You know? Second Peter. And we ourselves heard the utterance made from heaven when we were with him in the holy mountain. There's a whole lot of this that is in um, the old. Uh, but we got some here in the new too, and I'm going to be reading them here. Therefore, when you see the abomination of desolation, which was spoken of through Daniel the prophet standing in the holy place, let the readers understand. You guys, I spoke about that too. You know, our body is the temple. A lot of people today are looking for a building to be built. Just like, you know, in the day of Jesus. When Jesus said, destroy this temple and I'll raise it in three days. They thought they were, he was talking about a building when he was talking about his body. And the same thing's happening today. People are still thinking that because they're basically, they're following, you know, they're no different than their mindset is no different than what the Pharisees was then. It's carnal. They're carnally thinking and with the carnal mind. And that's the reason why they, uh, they're they going to have the problems they're going to have. Because they're not looking at things from the spiritual. They're not following and walking in the spirit as scripture tells us to do. And they're flocking carnally. They're attracted to these same people carnally okay it's gonna be what it's gonna be man you know and me even trying to do what i'm trying to do it's not you know it's frustrating but i'm just gonna accept it i have to accept it and i know he's gonna be righteous in everything that he does because it's happening i could see it clearly all unfolding and i could see him all doing exactly what scripture warns about. And they're, these people aren't even reading scriptures. They're not even reading scriptures. And this is what I'm talking about is scriptures. Staying in the scriptures and you'll understand. Acts 6.13 They put forward false witnesses who said, This man instantly speaks against the holy place and the law. Acts 21.28 crying out, men of Israel, come to our aid. This is the man who preaches to all men everywhere against our people and the law in this place. And besides, he has even brought Greeks into the temple and has defiled this holy place. Matthews 4, 5. Then the devil took him into the holy city and had him stand on the pinnacle of the temple. 20, Matthews twenty seven fifty three. And coming out of the tomb, after his resurrection, they entered the holy city and appeared to Mary. Matthew 12, 3, 4. But he said to them, Have you not read what David did when he became hungry and his companions, how he entered the house of God and ate the consecrated bread? You guys, what I'm telling you is we need to be following the Word of God and everything. Acknowledging, you know, and because what you're seeing today with these pride parades, God, He's putting it in their minds and their hearts to do what they're doing. And it's, God's in control of everything. A lot of these people, remember I told you, he, he, it's written in Scripture, I will pick their delusions. And when I hear these people reading and doing the things that they're doing on YouTube and they're not even uh, reading from scripture, that tells me a lot. You know, it tells me a lot. You know, I mean, if I posted a video and I could sit there and say, 
call on the name of Jesus Christ, all who do will be saved. But everything that I'm saying and doing is not of the Word of God or Scripture. You know? Luke chapter 6, 3, 4. And Jesus answered them and said, Have you not read what David did when he was hungry? I, read it. I did that. Okay. Luke. And when the days of their purification, according to the law of Moses, were completed... They brought him up to Jerusalem and presented him to the Lord, as it is written in the law of the Lord. Every firstborn male that opens the womb shall be called the holy to the Lord. Every male. Okay, you guys. It's very vital, you guys, that we uh, be careful, man. Stay to the word of God. I can't say it any more better than that. Stay to the word of God, man. Man, we're in we're in the day of evil. And anybody that's uh if they're not straight, straight is the way, and few be there that find it. Narrow. Okay? Only the word of God, because it says when all this is said and done, only the word of God is gonna remain. Everything else is going to be burned up. So what is it that you should be doing? You guys, it's all about what Jesus Christ did on the cross, okay? And what he came here to do. He said your captivity is over. You know, that we're freed from sin, from all these things. And he told us what to do. Follow him. And he said if we didn't, that we weren't worthy. He said everything that there is. You guys, look at as time goes on, people fall away. You know, in the uh, book of Gideon, when Gideon was a judge, that he took his people to war, and he defeated um, these people that were oppressing his people. And then they wanted to make him king. Gideon said no. He said Jehovah will rule over you. We couldn't have done it without him. And for his whole life, 40 years, he had peace for his life. Okay? Because he, he said Jehovah will rule over us. But when people, after so much time, they keep falling away. Turning, turning, turning. Where do you think it is that we're at right now? And why we are where we are? And I told you it was 50. It was in 1956, I think, when they took prayer out of school. When you teach, it says, when you teach them when they're young, they won't stray away when they're older. Who do you think is in the offices today? Who do you think's running this country? Why do you think we have uh, this perversion? Okay, the reason why you have perversion, the only way you're going to get it is if this place was already corrupted. Evil was already embedded in this place. You wouldn't have this perversion otherwise. Make no mistake. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? For Christ sent me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel, not with wisdom of words, lest the cross of Christ should be made none effect. Wow. Did you hear that? It's about the cross. It's about what Jesus Christ did. That's what Paul came to preach and teach. And I'm hearing people talk about everything but this on YouTube. You know? And the churches, man, they're, I don't know what they're doing anymore today. They're, they're not standing out, coming out. They should have, but they didn't. You know? They should did. They should have. Okay, you guys, this here is, this was called holiness as set apart for God. Okay, that's what this is. Deuteronomy 26, 18 through 19. The Lord has to de today declared you to be his people, a treasured possession. 
as he promised you, and that you should keep all his commandments, and that he will set you high above all the nations. I want to remind you guys, even this old stuff here, remember we're being grafted in. Jesus didn't come to do away with the old. He came to fulfill, okay, through Christ. They used to be able to burn and sacrifice animals all the time. Well, now through Christ, we have salvation through grace, through faith in Christ, okay? And we're being grafted in. Um, we're being grafted in. A lot of people are not getting this. They're not getting it. Be careful, you guys. If they're not, if they're not teaching you the Holy Word of God, you know, encouraging you to read and follow Scripture, they're not doing that. You better be careful. Time's coming. This is going to come on everybody suddenly. And everybody will answer for it. Remember it says in Scripture, they're going to be banging on that door going, Lord, Lord, let us in. Okay? And it's going to be justified. People put their faith and their trust in people over the Word of God. And I'm going to tell you something. Everything that I see and everything that I know today is because of the Word of God. Not because of what somebody's saying on YouTube, but because of what the Word of God has revealed. God bless you in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ.